Hey guys, Kevin here. You're with the Modern Creatures and welcome to another video. Today is Asus Day as the company has just introduced the newest member in its ZenBook family. This is the ZenBook 14 UX435. And of course, with the new ZenBook model comes better specs and new features. And that's what we're here to find out. So as you can see, we have the device right here ready to go, but it's still all boxed up. So without further ado, let's begin with the unboxing. But again, before we proceed, if you enjoy videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on anything. Now that's out of the way, let's go with the unboxing. Okay, so here we go. This is the entire box, this is the entire packaging, and it's not that big, it's not that bulky, it's pretty slim, and not that heavy either. You can see the Asus ZenBook label, and you have this circular design right here. So that's pretty much it for the box. So there's nothing much going on except for like quick specs rundown right here, which we'll uh, get to later on. So don't you worry, guys. We have more uh, details right here, and just an Asus branding right here. So I think that's basically it. Let's now open the box. Let me face it to you guys so you can see what's inside, how it's presented. There you go. So as soon as you open it, you can see the laptop tilt up. I like the way it's packaged. So it, it, it kind of presents you the laptop as soon as you open the box. So there you go. Let's first remove the laptop. Okay, clad in plastic. If you can see the world's smallest 14 inch laptop with screen pad and number pad. So we'll get to that later on, but basically screen pad has its own uh, display. Uh, it's, it's a secondary display basically, and you can put apps in there for, you know, ease of use and ease of navigation. So we'll, we'll get to that. First thing we see are a couple of warranty cards and manuals basically. So there's a screen pad guide. So that's pretty useful if you're new to this uh, feature. Over here on the right side, we have, okay, we have the charger, the brick with the USB-C uh, tip. On the left side, we have, what do we have here? Okay, an Ethernet adapter. So a USB to Ethernet adapter. So I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, I think there's one more behind this. What is it? Okay, the sleeve for, uh, for the laptop itself. So you can just easily slide your laptop in here. And because you know, good things need homes too, as Vika would say. So there you go. Let's put that all there. Okay, so the ZenBook 14 UX435, we have it right here. And first impression, it's pretty light. Uh, it doesn't weigh that much. So it's uh, basically easy to pack, easy to bring along wherever you go. Okay, so some key highlights for this laptop. It also has a four-sided nano edge display. So that means it has thin bezels around its display. It has 92% screen to body ratio, so you can enjoy more Im immersive uh, visuals. It has AI noise cancelling mic with a uh, work from home setup and all that. You need this for when you want to cancel out uh, external noise like, I don't know, babies crying or dogs barking, whatever. So it has that AI noise cancelling. You can also transfer photos via link to my ASUS. And lastly, it has fast face login with IR cameras. It uses your face basically to log in and it has IR infrared meaning it can detect your face, detect uh, your features, even in the dark, basically. So that's about it. Let's remove this wrapper and take out this sticker. So, okay, this is it. So if you remember, we reviewed a ZenBook 13 a few months back and it pretty much looks the same. It has a slim profile and it also has this ergo lift hinge. So this area props up when you open the lid and the screen pad. As I was saying earlier, it's basically a secondary display that lets you uh, transfer apps, that lets you load apps to it for uh, easier navigation, better workflow, faster workflow when you're editing, typing, working on, on even outdoors. So yeah, that should come in handy. So let's peel this off. Oh wait, let's first check out what it says. So it says screen pad, the intelligent touchpad evolved. So it supports handwriting, number key, quick key, doc expert, meaning uh, if you're using Google Docs and all that, sheet expert and slide expert. So basically Microsoft Office uh, apps can really, you know, function here and make your life easier if you're 
working with those apps. Additionally, there are two variants available for this model specifically. One carries an Intel Core i5 processor, and the other one, this model, carries an Intel Core i7 processor. But they both have Microsoft Office Home installed for the two variants. Okay, and there are more key features found here, so we might as well check them out. It says 169 millimeter thin, and 1.29 kilograms light. And it also has fast and stable Asus Wi-Fi Master, USB-C Easy Charge, it also has TUV or Tov Rhineland certified eye care, so it cares for your eyes and it has features and safety precautions that will help uh, protect your eyes from prolonged usage of the screen. And additionally, it has 63 watt hours of battery life, which Asus says can last up to 12 hours of continuous usage. Now we're gonna find out if that holds true in our full review. And lastly, it also passed US military grade durability. Now guys, we're not gonna be tossing this around or dropping this to, you know, to just test its durability, but it just means that opening and closing the hinge, uh, typing on the keys, it's, it's been tested and it has passed uh, military grade standards. As a quick comparison, I'm just gonna go get the older ZenBook 13 that we have. This is the UX325 if I'm not mistaken. So it's a 13 inch laptop, so it's just an inch smaller than the ZenBook 14 and they pretty much look the same. In terms of size, this is how they stack up. All right, there's just, yeah, a little bit of uh, size difference, but they're basically both really slim and very compact. That's basically it for our Asus ZenBook 14 unboxing and quick first impressions. So what do you guys think of this device? Is it something that you would be, uh, be able to use to work? Maybe you're into video editing or Photoshop? Do you think this will fit your needs? Let us know in the comments below because we want to find out. And as a content creator ourselves, we also want to help you. So let us know, let us know. Give us your thoughts below and that's basically it. Wait for our full review which will be posting in a week i think visit our website follow us on our social media pages for more news features and reviews once again that's it for me i'm kevin thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video <music>